Well, good morning and welcome back, everyone. I'm out here with Kosai, this time joined with Lori and Spike. So what's going on at Kosai that we get to see Spike today? We are going to have Farm Day. So this is a Kosai Classic, um, and we're so excited to present it again this year. Uh, lots of fun activities for the family. We've got gigantic tractors. We've got live animals, including cows. Um, you can see chicks hatch um, live, so come check that out. And you can make seed necklaces. So it's going to be from uh, August 10th through 14th. Oh, and I love how there's the incorporation of not only science in the farm, but how that just kind of comes full circle too. Right? Um, and to talk about that, I've brought Spike, um, who is our resident chicken, um, and she can do some really cool things, which I'll get to in just a minute. Um, but here at COSI, we like to talk about how chickens are actually living dinosaurs. So if you come to farm days, just know that you're looking at little tiny dinosaurs hatching. Um, but to show you and prove it, um, we can talk a little bit about features that chickens have that are really similar to uh, dinosaurs. So she does have feathers all over her body, including her feet, uh, which is unique. Most chickens don't have that. They have scales on their feet. Now the reason for that is that the gene that creates scales is the same gene that creates feathers. So if we can produce a chicken that's got feathers on her feet, theoretically, we could produce a chicken that's entirely covered in scales. And if she was entirely covered in scales, would she look a little bit more like a dinosaur? I think so, especially yeah. since I've been through that dinosaur exhibit. Right? The other really neat thing that they have found uh, is the tooth gene. So in embryos, they've uh, actually been able to produce a chicken that has teeth uh, that are conical shaped just like a T-Rex. Now it's important to mention that that gene was already there, they just stimulated it. Um, so if she had teeth and entirely covered in scales, then she would really would be kind of like a little dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> she looks very different. <laughs> so she does have a bird brain, but they are trainable. Um, and so she is a silky bantam chicken. And today I'm going to have you be the honorary chicken trainer. Ooh, this is exciting. Um, and she does know how to play the xylophone. So we're going to go awesome. ahead and get her to do this. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And as soon as she plays, you're going to go ahead and give her one of these little cackleberry treats, which she loves. Clearly, she's motivated. <laughs> I get that. So we'll put it down over here and see if uh, she'll do it. There's what you can give her one for that. <laughs> you have to play better than that. Oh, that was oh, a good one. That was a really good one. <laughs> here, wait. Let's give one or two of that there. <laughs> So this is just a fun thing that we do with her, but this is operant conditioning or positive reinforcement, which is exactly the same way we train our rats to play basketball. Oh, which is so fun. I love that there's so many animals and that they do so many fun tricks like this too. It is, it's a really great uh, bond relationship builder with our animals. Oh. And if people wanted to see one of these animals, is that something that they get to just see every time they're out there? Are there certain times to see the chicken play the xylophone or see the rat basketball? Yeah, we have rat basketball every single day. Um, and then Spike here actually goes down to our dinosaur exhibit uh, for dino tails sometimes. So if you happen to uh, be down there for that program, you might see Spike and meet her in person. That's so fun. And is that anything that people have to pay extra for? Or is it just part of admission? It is all included. Oh, and specifically back to farm days, how yep. long is that going to be around? It is going to be August 10th through 14th. Um, if you want more information, head over to our website at COSI.org. Um, and it, it will give you all the details of the event. Oh, well, excellent. I love that there's always so much happening at COSI. And again, if you want to figure out what else is going on over at COSI, their website's COSI.org. Or to watch Spike do her tricks again. Head over to our website, <laughs> NBC4i.com, and you'll be able to see this interview again. So Lori, thanks so much for helping make me that honorary chicken trainer. You bet, anytime. <laughs> Oh my God, Liz, I love when you do these things. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of so unbelievable, fun. yeah, that a chicken is the closest relative to a dinosaur. Isn't it crazy? I don't know. Blows you my see mind. crocodiles, but yeah. if you go out to their dinosaur exhibit, even there's more theories coming out uh -huh. on were these dinosaurs actually covered in feathers? So it looks a little more interesting if you imagine that T Rex kind yeah. of covered in feathers like a chicken. Absolutely loved it. Very oh. cool. And as far as the weather goes today, we're dealing with some heat and other things. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a day that you want to make sure you're staying weather aware and maybe thinking about at least those indoor alternatives.